So imagine you're driving down the highway and you see a sign that says 100 kilometers to your destination. But how fast are you going to get there? Is your average speed the same as your average velocity? Hello everyone, in this lesson we'll cover three things. One, what is average velocity? Two, what is average speed? And three, how to find the average velocity using position time graph and how to understand different types of position time graphs. So to understand the idea of average velocity, let us say there is a dog named Toto moving on this horizontal track in search of a bone and at time t equal to zero, Toto is at x is equal to minus eight meters. Then three seconds later, it is at x is equal to zero meter and then five seconds later or at t equal to eight seconds, it is at x is equal to 10 meters. Now. We can put the same information on a time versus position graph. So we take time on the horizontal axis and displacement x along the y axis. Yes, it is a little strange that we are taking these values on x axis to the y axis here. So what we are doing is moving the position of Toto at various times on the x axis onto the y axis. So we can then plot Toto's movement as follows. At t equal to zero, x is equal to minus eight meters, which is this point. That is, we have taken the minus eight meter that was on x axis, now onto the y axis. At t equal to three seconds, x is equal to zero meters. So the plot on this graph would be this. And then at t equal to eight seconds, Toto is at x is equal to 10 meters. So we take eight seconds here and the position of 10 meters, which is this point. Let us also assume that when we connect the points, it would describe Toto's position at other times as well. So this is what we call a position time graph. Just remember, Toto is moving in a straight line and not moving like this. Okay, let us do a problem that will help us understand position time graph and how you can use it a lot better. Let us say another hungry dog by the name Tic Tac went back and forward on a straight line in search of a bone. And the position time graph looks like this. And we are asked at each of the points marked here, if Tic Tac was moving backward or forward. So before we find the answers, let us try to get a sense of where all Tic Tac is at some other times. So we can see that at time t equal to zero, which is a starting point, Tic Tac is at the origin because at t equal to zero, x is equal to zero. Then we can say that at t equal to one second, he is at 4.3 meter mark. And then at t equal to four seconds, he is at minus 4.3 meter mark. That means this side or 4.3 meters behind the starting point. Now let us find what direction is Tic Tac moving at t equal to 2.6 seconds. We can see that Tic Tac is at two meters. And if you see a short time after t equal to 2.6 seconds, say, at t equal to three seconds, he is at x is equal to zero meter position. So this means that at this point, Tic Tac is moving in backward direction. Now till time t equal to 4.5 seconds, you can see that his position has been reducing from zero meter mark to minus five meter mark, which means that Tic Tac was moving in the backward direction till t equal to 4.5 seconds. But at this point where he is at minus five meter mark, Tic Tac stops moving backward because you can see the value of X is not reducing any further. And then he starts moving in forward direction. And when I say forward direction, I mean towards the right side because you can see the X position of Tic Tac is now moving towards the origin. Therefore, we can say that at t equal to 4.5 seconds, he was momentarily neither moving forward 
nor backward and his velocity was actually zero in fact at t equal to 4.5 seconds tic tac changed direction from backward motion to forward then at this point we can see that tic tac is again at the origin and as we move ahead in time the value of x is increasing and becomes more positive so at this point he is moving in the forward direction okay so now let us go ahead and understand the concept of average velocity and for this we will look back to our earlier graph which is a little simpler to understand and let us say you are asked how fast was toto moving between t equal to 0 seconds and 8 seconds so we can say that his average velocity should be the displacement between the two times divided by the time taken so in this case we can see the initial position was minus 8 meters and the final position was 10 meters and the start time was 0 seconds and the end time was 8 seconds so the average velocity is given as v average is equal to 10 meters which is the final position minus minus 8 meters divide by 8 seconds minus 0 seconds and this equals 2.25 meters per second and like displacement velocity is also a vector so the direction of velocity here is determined by the sign of the number here we can see it is plus 2.25 meters per second and therefore we say the direction of velocity is to the right or in the plus x direction that is the magnitude is 2.25 meters per second and the direction is plus x so the general formula we can use to calculate average velocity is v average is equal to x2 minus x1 divided by t2 minus t1 where x1 is the position at time t1 and x2 is the position at time t2 and not to forget that these x values actually appear as y values on time versus position graph and an interesting thing you can observe is that in the formula while x2 minus x1 is a vector the denominator t2 minus t1 is not a vector quantity so the direction of average velocity will be determined by the sign of the numerator or in other words the direction of velocity will always be the same as the direction of displacement so here Toto's displacement is in the positive x direction and you can see the average velocity is also positive or in the direction of displacement. Well, we can also find the average velocity between t equal to 0 seconds and t equal to 3 seconds. So using the formula, v average equals 0 minus minus 8 divided by 3 minus 0, which is equal to about 2.67 meters per second. Again, it is in the positive direction of x-axis. Now, let us do something interesting. We'll go ahead and connect these two points with a straight line. And if you remember your basic coordinate geometry, you can say that the slope of this line can be given as slope is equal to x2 minus x1 upon t2 minus t1. And interestingly, you see that this expression for slope is the same as this for v average which therefore means that the slope of the line connecting any two points on a position time graph like this one is also the average velocity between those two points so i really want you all to understand this well and i'll repeat the slope of the line connecting any two points on a position time graph is equal to the average velocity of the object between the two points so more the magnitude of slope higher the average velocity well if you recall your trigonometry now another way we write slope of a line is by taking tan of the angle the line makes with the horizontal axis so if you consider this triangle and if this is theta then tan theta is equal to this by this that is the slope of the line or the average velocity so 
we found earlier Toto's average velocity between 0 and 3 seconds was 2.67 meters per second and between 0 and 8 seconds was 2.25 meters per second and if you see the slope of the lines visually that is this line connecting times t equal to 0 and 3 second is steeper than the line connecting t equal to 0 and 8 seconds. So just by seeing the slope of the line visually also you can tell where the average velocity is higher or lower. Another important thing I would like you all to remember is that if the slope points up and right like this, it means it is positive slope or positive average velocity. And if it slopes to the left like this, then it is negative slope or negative average velocity. And if it is flat like this, it is zero slope or zero average velocity or the particle is at rest. So if you are given a graph like this and uh, you are asked to find the average velocity between this point and this point and the only information available is this angle, let us say it is 60 degrees and you are asked to find the average velocity between these two points, then the first thing you can quickly say is that the average velocity is positive because the slope of the line connecting the two points is positive. Then we can calculate the average velocity between these two points by simply taking tan 60 which equals root 3 or 1.732 meters per second. So that brings us to the idea of average speed which is another way of telling how fast a particle is moving and the formula for finding average speed is s average is equal to total distance traveled by time. So you see the difference between average speed and average velocity is that while in average velocity we take displacement in average speed we take the total distance traveled and therefore the average speed of a particle in a given time is never less than the magnitude of average velocity simply because distance covered will always be equal to or more than the displacement also while velocity is a vector quantity speed is a scalar quantity that is it has magnitude only and no direction let us use an example to understand this better so if you are in your car and you're moving from x is equal to 0 kilometers to x is equal to 10 kilometers but at x equal to 6 kilometers you run out of fuel and you get out of the car and walk down to the gas station two kilometers ahead and take the fuel and come back to the car. You fill up the tank and then proceed on your journey to reach point X is equal to 10 kilometers. Now assume the total time taken between X equal to 0 and X equal to 10 kilometers is 2 hours. Then we can say that your V average is equal to total displacement upon total time which equals 10 kilometers minus 0 kilometers by 2 hours which equals 5 kilometers per hour in this direction and you have to remember that the average velocity just considers the starting and the end point and nothing what happens in between. But your average speed is equal to total distance covered by total time which equals 6 kilometers by car plus 2 kilometers walking this way plus 2 kilometers walking back to the car plus 4 kilometer drive divide by 2 hours which equals 7 kilometers per hour. So let us quickly summarize the lesson and also look at some tips that may be useful when you solve problems. So number one is the formula for average velocity is x2 minus x1 upon t2 minus t1 where x1 is position at time t1 and x2 is position at time t2. If the calculated number turns out to be positive the velocity is in the plus x direction and if it is negative the velocity is in the negative x direction. Number two is the slope of the line connecting any two points on a position time graph is equal to the average velocity of the object between the two points. Number three is the average velocity between two points can therefore also be found by taking tan of the angle the line connecting the two points makes with the positive direction of x-axis. Number four is, 
If the slope points up and right like this, it means it is positive slope or positive average velocity. If it slopes to the left like this, then it is negative slope or negative average velocity. And if it is flat like this, it is zero slope or zero average velocity. Number five is the formula for finding average speed is S average is equal to total distance traveled upon time. Number six is velocity is a vector quantity and speed is a scalar quantity. So if you want to understand this section better, you should go through this playlist, which can really give a lot of depth to your understanding of this topic. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and see you in the next video.